That is why I cannot say I have lived in Korea, I have lived there in 2018. That's wrong. What? I have lived in Korea, I lived there in 2018. The first establishes the experience, the second tells you when, and so your verb tense must change. Now, even though there's a difference here in the past, in the future, we don't usually worry about that. We can use something like, I will do, whether it is a closed sense of time or an open sense of time. A closed sense of time like tomorrow or an open sense of time like eventually. I will eat hot pot tomorrow or one day I will eat hot pot. So we don't make this distinction in the future. We just say I will do. And again, this is not a complete set of all the grammatical forms for verb tenses, but I want you to think about where these verb tenses fit into the English speaker's sense of chronology. And what you might also think about is that you can put them together. For example, what were you doing yesterday at 7 p.m.? When I'm taking a specific instant, 7 p.m., but in the past, I combine these things. Yesterday, I was eating dinner at 7 p.m. It would be strange to combine an instant with an open sense of time, but if you think about the instant of now, I might say, what have you been doing until now? Hey, good to see you. What have you been doing until now? Oh, I have been teaching until now. So it's not a perfect rule, but if you think of where these things are in time, you can find ways that they should join, and it won't always be correct, but it will probably sound natural. And that's much more important. As a final example, let's talk about something we'll call the I time for imaginary. And that is I would. I'm going to put this in a sort of circle, as in your mind. And I will call it I, as in imaginary, if any of you like math and imaginary numbers. I have drawn it coming out from these because quite often we will use this form after something like this. Like, yesterday I thought I would go swim. We can't say yesterday I thought I will go swim because will is over here in the future. We say yesterday I thought I would go swim. Yesterday I thought I would swim, but it was too cold. Since it was too cold, I didn't go. That means swimming was only in my imagination. We call it the I time for this class. It was only here. Yesterday I thought I would swim, but it was too cold. Or, I have often thought that I would like to learn to dance salsa or something like that. And indeed, we can even use this imaginary form in other ways, like if I were a bird, I would fly. I can't say I will fly because I will never be a bird, most likely. It's in my imagination. It's an imaginary form, something I would do. And quite often we use it in conjunction with these. Yesterday I said I would meet you at six. It existed in my mind, in my imagination. 